everyone. I'm Jackie Ellis from JackieEllis.com. I am an intuitive guide, mentor, Reiki master. I read energy and I decode energy that people have within them, helping them transform their life and create a life that they love. It's really a novel idea. <laughs> Over the last few weeks, if you've been joining in on these videos, if not, welcome. Um, we've explored what matters to you and how it ties to our connections and our creativity. Before I go into the energy for the week of July 17th to the 23rd, I want to remind you that the overall energy message for this moon cycle is grounding energy is supporting your transformation. Remember that. Grounding energy is supporting your transformation. This is important to remember as you go through the waxing quarter moon week. Now why is that? Because this is the week that we are in our lower chakras for the month. We are in our lower chakra domain so we are in this area right here it's the domain of boundaries limits will support resources and our space our your inner warrior is your dominating source of support during this week and you will find yourself needing to create space for yourself <laughs> or from moving forward within the life you are creating. Um, I will say that many times people will get worried about this week and what it could mean for them. And this is common because most of us have been conditioned to feel that we can't set healthy boundaries or our utter failures when it comes to having boundaries at all. We feel everyone's energy and everything they are projecting to us. This is often a sacral chakra that is stuck open. Um, and we, it, when it's like that, we have learned defensiveness techniques, um, habits that have helped us survive up until this point. But there's something deep within us that is longing for a better way than just reacting to a potential abusive situation that may not even end up being abusive, but we felt like it could be. We we, we expected it to be, um, or feeling attacked by everything in our path. So we are always in that fight flight mode. Now, shameless plug here, I can help clear that energy. Um, so if you're feeling compelled and need some assistance with this, more information about my Reiki sessions or on my website and the links down below. This video though is meant to help you enter into the week with confidence. So during my Be The Change You Need workshop, I had everyone do an exercise. And I was guided to actually share that exercise with you today for this purpose, for to help you get through the week with confidence. And so in this exercise, I had everyone envision their inner warrior using a set of personality characteristics that I gave them. And I'd like you to do this with me now. So I'd like you to get comfortable wherever you are. And I'd like you to, if you're driving, maybe pull over or pause the video and do this when you are not 
operating a moving vehicle. A little safety, a little bit of a safety tidbit there. <laughs> okay, so we all have an inner warrior. Everyone does. Your inner warrior has helped you helped keep you on this side of the grass and has helped you find this video. <laughs> While your inner warrior may look different from your friends and it may have you do things in unique ways, there are common characteristics among everyone's. Everyone's warrior, inner warrior, will have common personalities, common characteristics to those personalities. And when you embody yours, you are able to recognize the inner warrior within someone else. So right now you may have, you may have had situations where you noticed another's warrior, you maybe didn't realize this, um, and something inside of you had deep respect for that characteristic because within you, it has been hiding in the shadows, waiting to empower you once again. It was like, ooh, yeah, I, I want you to use that part of me. That's what it was saying to you. Other times you may have been triggered by another person's warrior because you were being asked to use that characteristic yourself and there was something within you that that your brain was going, no, 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 not gonna happen because there is like deep, deep healing that you would need to do in order to bring that characteristic forward. And this is what we're being asked to do. We are being asked to heal. Remember that your trigger is always your healing or growth opportunity. So let's get to know your inner warrior a little more intimately. You ready? I'm excited. Your inner warrior is your protector of boundaries and has defined your boundaries based upon what you were willing to do to create the life you love. Space is never an issue, and your inner warrior is a master of your space. The space you need is always available. The space you use to create your vision for your life is always available, and you will always have the space you need for taking care of your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. Your inner warrior holds the integrity, the highest integrity for who you are towards yourself and towards others. There is nothing too risky for your warrior when it comes to your vision for your life. Because your inner warrior has your back and knows you are supported always. Your inner warrior will do what is necessary to be there for you always and in any situation. Nothing and no one has power over you when you are exuding your inner warrior. The courage you need to take any step necessary exudes through your inner warrior. Your inner warrior depends upon your intuition for guidance. It is the only guidance it trusts and it will confidently follow this guidance with precision. Which is why your inner warrior is so courageous to begin with. Your inner warrior does exactly what is needed and knows when to create space to take care of you physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Yes, your inner warrior loves action, but there is a time and a place for everything. And precision is one of your inner warrior's gifts. 
It knows that not responding can be more powerful than reacting out of fear, anger, and doubt. It knows that you need to pause and reflect to hear your intuition. It knows your physical and mental well-being need rest and space to heal. It knows that following your intuition allows you to have that balance that you need to achieve your vision. It knows that balance looks different for everyone because that is unique to your vision for your life. Your inner warrior is your highest regarded ally along your journey. Even if you can't sense your intuition, your inner warrior can and will follow it with precision. Always, if you let it. And this is why your inner warrior is also your ultimate grounding energy. You feel that? Can you feel that healing energy going through you? Were you able to picture the warrior? Excellent. So now what I want you to do is I want you to picture that warrior stepping towards you and entering your body. How do you feel now? Feel the courage, the strength, the confidence flowing through you. That is what your inner warrior does for you. Now, as you go through your week, I'd like you to practice feel al feeling aligned with your inner warrior. There may be situations where you could start to feel disconnected with your inner warrior, but this is your opportunity to pause and then ask yourself, what could you do to step back into alignment with that part of you? So I'm saying, whatever the situation, when you feel that disconnect, pause and ask yourself, what can I do to step back into alignment with that part of myself? Here are some common healing or growth opportunities for this week. So fears might be coming up about a change that you're trying to create in your life. You know, the fears that we thought we didn't have anymore, that we were ready to make that change in our life, all of a sudden these fears float up. And they may seem rational, they may seem irrational, but either way they're fears. And remember that our inner warrior gives us the support that we need always, no matter what. So we have the ability to face those fears. We may feel disempowered or attacked within conversations. Boundaries. Or we may feel like others are taking advantage of you, of us, right? Boundaries. Those feelings are our own triggers saying, okay, we need to set some boundaries here. We need to take care of ourselves a little more. We maybe need to like create some space so that we are making sure that we are holding ourselves with the highest integrity and holding others with the highest integrity as well. Because, you know, us being in an unhealthy situation and a healthy relation, unhealthy relationship is not, not, not helping us or them. So if we need to heal our, our own stuff, then we need to create some space so that we can do that. Needing others to do what you want and upset when they're not doing it. Well, they have the power to make their choices for their life. 
But when we're trying to control all these little boxes, boundaries. What are we doing within our own life that maybe isn't where we feel out of control? Because when we're trying to like control all the outside stuff <laughs> that we don't have control over, it's because we feel like we don't have control over our inner world in some way. And we need to look at that first. Feeling like we aren't on solid ground when it comes to moving forward in our goals. So it's like, you know, you feel like you want to move forward, but you don't know if you can because it doesn't feel very safe. It doesn't feel very solid ground. It doesn't, there's, there's some risk there. There's some uncertainty. Again, your inner warrior supports you no matter what. Anything that feels uncertain will have you scrambling to hold on to anything that feels familiar. And it's common to do this. It's very common to do this. But again, your inner warrior supports you always. We may find ourselves focusing on the problems instead of focusing on what the solution could be. Your inner warrior knows the solution, but we're not allowing that to come through. Your inner warrior is always supporting you and creating the space you need always. It relies on your intuition for everything, so your resources are endless. If you lean on your inner warrior to help you through whatever you're going through. When you are feeling out of alignment, the energies for the week may feel, you may feel scattered. Right? When you look at your, you look at your actions, you look at your, your thoughts, the way your thoughts are. Um, you're just, you're just feeling like you're like trying to like, con grab onto anything you're like wondering what direction to go you're like uh, should i go here should i do this maybe i should do this you find yourself doing one thing and then another thing and then another thing and then all of a sudden all these things are like you got all these balls in the air and, and you don't know what you're doing you get overwhelmed scattered when you find yourself there pause and then reflect on the situation. What can you do to reconnect with your inner warrior and treat yourself and others with the highest integrity for that situation? Sometimes that's creating space for them. Sometimes it is walking away. Sometimes it is facing that fear and cutting the energetic cord that's holding you back from your dreams. Whatever it might be, I know your inner warrior will help guide you because it always does. It has your back. You've got this. If this video resonated with you at all, I'd love for you to share the love. You can share this video, like this video, subscribe by pressing the button below. You can buy me a virtual coffee as a thank you and helping me support doing videos like this on an ongoing basis. The link is in the description below. If you'd like to know more about my soul talk membership the link will be in the description and um, i'm about to release a new version of that on my website i'm super excited about it thank you all for joining me on this journey we call life until next time be simply you